My name is Fabio Marra. I'm a hepatologist at the University of Florence in Italy. So the topic of uh, our uh, review that I have co-authored with Dr. Svegliati Baroni from Ancona uh, deals with uh, two very important aspects of the pathophysiology of NASH that are the lipotoxicity and the so-called gut liver axis. So the NASH is triggered by hepatocyte damage, and this hepatocyte damage is due to the, the action of toxic lipids. Now, not all the lipids are toxic. For example, triglycerides that form the droplets that we see in histology in NASH are actually sort of like uh, good lipids, but the bad guys are other kind of ty types of lipids. For example, the free fatty acids, uh, the palmitic acid, the, the ceramides. So what we do in the first part of this review is actually to try and understand which are those, the so-called bad lipids and to tease out the molecular mechanisms by which they work. So trying to put together the pathways that lead to inflammation, cell damage, and apoptosis that are very relevant aspects of, uh, of NASH. Then in the second part, we, we deal with another important aspect. That is the, the crosstalk with the, with the gut and the, with the intestine. So this has to deal with at least three different uh, aspects. One is the action of the microbes in the, um, in the intestine, the so-called uh, uh, microbiota. And another is the relationship between uh, the hormones that are produced in the, in the intestine and the liver, because there are several hormones that are produced in the intestine and modify aspects of liver metabolism. And uh, finally, we discussed the interplay between the, some of the nuclear receptors that are very important for the liver and some of the messages that come from the intestine that might be generated, for example, by bile acid. And in the review, we also try uh, to make the reader understand why these aspects are important also for the standpoint of novel therapies, because some of these uh, aspects that we discuss about are being targeted by therapies that are not yet approved, but they are under investigation in trials nowadays. There are currently four, uh, four drugs that are in uh, phase three trials, and all of them have to deal with the uh, pathophysiologic aspects uh, of the um, uh, of the steatohepatitis. For example, one therapy that uh, deals with the pathways that lead from uh, lipotox lipotoxicity to apoptosis. Another is directed to inflammation, and this is also important because inflammation is uh, a characteristic of uh, active NASH. And another deals uh, targets the FXR. This is one of the nuclear receptors that cross talk with the liver and the, and the intestine. And another one is another nuclear receptor that is expressed in the liver. So um, uh, two of these aspects are dealt with in the lipotoxicity part and the others in the gut-liver axis.